how to choose the correct motor for your next drone and to be even more specific how to choose the correct motor for your 7 inch drone. Why? Because I've noticed that a lot of people make a mistake of choosing really wrong motors for their 7 inch builds. They, yes, they most of the people concentrate on the KV factor because everybody knows, because the public knowledge that uh, with the bigger propeller like the 7 incher you just don't need as much KV, like, don't need as much KV because because the rotation speed can be lower and this is fine but really many people completely absolutely forget about the second aspect of the motor for your build which is the size of the motor because the bigger the size the bigger the dimensions the bigger the height and the diameter of the stator the bigger the torque that the motor can produce if the torque is too high uh, actually nothing really bad happens if the torque is too high for you for what you need um, but if the torque is high enough then the motor has enough torque to overcome the moment of inertia of the propeller and quickly change the rotation speed of 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 the motor the change the amount of thrust that is generating because the propeller itself acts like a flywheel it needs extra energy not only energy converted into thrust to be spinning faster so the more torque the motor provides the better because that, that means the, the response of the propeller is faster but what happens when the torque is too low because the motor is too small for the for the propeller then the, something nasty is happening in theory well on the first glance everything is working just fine but when you fly it you see that there is some kind of the bobbing in the FPV feed the drone is not the quadcopter is not flying flying smooth it's do, does something like this it drops a nose a little and then increases the nose a little many pe many people think this is the vibration vibration from the propellers but not exactly because just the response time of the propeller is so high because of the too low torque of the motor that it just goes into this this oscillation you can try to fight it but it really like never really works and the best solution to not to have this bobbing that usually appears first on the pitch because pitch is the axis that the drone has more moment of inertia so it's harder for it to uh, to compensate you just replace the motors with bigger ones what is torque torque is the force times the radius on the moment when the torque is applied so if the motor is bigger and the same force is uh, applied somewhere over here so if we have our motor over here with the diameter and here we're gonna apply a force because this is the interaction between the magnets over here somewhere and the coil in the stator the bigger the force and the bigger the radius the more torque we have and um, torque times uh, i'm not sure if i if i use the correct symbol oh, i think this is the correct symbol as a symbol uh, torque times the angular speed in radians per second means power so uh, the same torque the faster we are rotating the more power we have and uh, the power indeed is the is the multiplication of the angular speed of the of the motor and the propeller and the torque that currently is delivered of course this is general rule that you need more torque and uh, even though the rotation speed on the bigger propeller is smaller that also means that to have uh, the same level the same moments of uh, acceleration and the inertia to compensate it you of course need the slightly more torque to have to be on the same level on the power on what the torque on of the motor like for example this 2206 depends a on the like i drove it before torque is the force and uh, the force value 
times the distance from the rotation point where the rotation of the motor is applied. So the bigger the diameter, the slightly bigger the, um, the torque, even if the same force is applied between the coil and the magnet. But to be honest, we can just omit this, this factor of the force in our, uh, our talks because this is not really relevant. The most relevant part is the volume uh, of the stator of the, of the motor. I don't think I will have to open any of the motors. What's the volume of the stator? Well, like the name says, the volume of the stator is just the volume that stator occupies. The bigger the, of course, here we have axis on our motor. So here we have radius and here we have Height. The bigger the volume of our stator, the more copper can be put inside, in the case in form of the wire, into a stator. That means that the motor is able to generate stronger magnetic flux that then is interacting with the magnets on the, on the rotor of the motor. And that means because the forces are bigger and that means the torque is higher. So it, it more or less self-describes itself. The bigger the volume of the stator, assuming of course that the motor is made correctly with the correct number of windings and there are no too many empty empty spaces inside, the, it's more or less, I don't want to say linear, but we can for our problems just assume that twice the volume of the mod of the stator gives twice twice the torque on the other hand why no manufacturer really shares the data about the torque hard to tell. Nevertheless because motors, the size of the motors is usually like 2205 or 2506, we can pretty easily compute the volume of the, of the stator. Because first two numbers is the diameter of the, of the stator and the second two number is the height of the stator in millimeters in millimeters, everything in millimeters. So motor 2205 means that radius is 11 millimeters, height is uh, 5 millimeters. If you put 11 square times pi 3.14 times the 5, you will get to the value that motor of size 2205 has the volume of around 605 millimeters squared. On the other hand, the motor 2506 will have around 937 millimeters squared. We add 3 millimeters on the diameter, so one and a half on the radius. We add one millimeters on the height and the volume of the stator is 50% higher. That means that 2506, this motor, can deliver, um, comparing to this 2205, around 50% more torque, plus the difference on the, on the radius, uh, but we can just skip it. That means that, assuming that we are having um, the same propeller, this, um, motor will be able to accelerate or decelerate the propeller 50% faster than this one. That's A. If we know more or less how to compute the volume of the stator and how, to, how this influences the torque of the motor, let's talk about numbers. For the 5 inch quads, everybody knows that absolute minimum is 25, uh, 2205 motors. That gives us the stator volume around 600 uh, millimeters, not square, triple. I forgot how this is in English, and everybody knows that. But when we go higher, of course, the moments of inertia go higher, and we need bigger minimum values for our, our propellers to be able to work correctly. So, I came up with some numbers based on some experiments and what people put in, the, in their drones and, and stuff like that. So, for 5-inch motors the minimum really minimum usable value for the for the volume of the stator is around 600 millimeters to the third for six inches 
and then the real minimum of course you can go higher if you want there's no problem with going higher because the bigger the state or the more torque and you will have nicer experience is around 700 millimeters square but for seven inches you need more or less 900 millimeters to the third that means that the most popular 2205 is like half too small that also means that if you want to have a 7 incher you have to pick a motor size that's at least 900 millimeters uh, squared so the values that you are interested in for the 7 inches it's 2207 2207 is probably the smallest really value that you can even think about using it has 847 I fly it on the 2207, it's fine. Then we have 2208, which is actually 2208 is really a huge, huge, huge motor because it has more or less 968 millimeter to the third. And you can really easily ply on seven inches with 2208. That also means that 2306 is too small because it's even less than uh, the volume of the 2207 by the way all the numbers and the table will be put in the description so you can check what's the volume of the uh, most popular motor sizes mini quad motor sizes so you can more or less know what you should choose the next value that's nice and usable oh 2407 2407 are really huge motors with around 1000 the real fun from from my perspective the real fun with the seven inches begins with more or less 2506 which may be slightly smaller volume than 2407 but still has plenty and because it's bigger also the magnets can be slightly bigger and the perfect size from my op in my opinion is 2507 which also has slightly above 1000 millimeters to the third and if you really want to be bold and have a huge 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 motors which by the way you really want to have on seven inches it's 2508 which delivers a shitload absolutely shitload of torque like i said the values uh, the numbers I've showed are in the description so if you want to just more or less know if your motor are, is meeting the, the requirements then it's there if you are asking what about if I just use more voltage will this solve my problem yes the torque depends on the voltage but then and then also the with the higher voltage and the same torque and the same volume you will slightly need more amps so it's not really that simple you still need bigger motors to be able to spin the propellers accelerate the propellers faster the second aspect of choosing the correct motor is of course the kv kv ugh, everybody more or less are familiar with the kv and can really use uh, everybody knows that while for the five inches it's more or less for 4s it's nice to have like 2400 kV and on 6 inches slightly more if you go to 6s then you need below 2000 yeah it's a it's a knowledge i i spent some time with the maths over here did some numbers and based on the public publicly known knowledge i also came up with the i, I came up with a pretty nice equation and the equation is the kV that means the required kv of the motor you are looking for of course this is only like the the, the sweet spot something that everybody that should work in most of the cases equals pc which in this case we're gonna call the propeller coefficient because the needed kv depends on the propeller diameter you want to use on your drone divided by the s number so we're gonna have four or six or three or something like that and based on some reverse mathematics i came up with the values for five inches you need the pc factor propeller constant it's not of course propeller constant so okay propeller coefficient or more or less 9600 
For the 6 incher you need more or less 6400 and for 7 inches it, you need more or less 7600. That means that um, on the 4S for the 5 incher you will come up with the 2400 kV, on the 6S you will land in something more or less 1,900 kV and for the 7 inches at around 1,600 kV, which are more or less a sweet spot for really a nice mini quad running those kind of propellers. The numbers, the numbers once again on the table showing what, what goes where, what kind of values is there, is in the description, so please take a look and you might want to remember the equation when the required kV equals propeller coefficient divided by the number of cells inside of your LiPo.